have expression of FGR3, the one at least detectable with Western blood. Of course, they express other proteins, like for example, the, CD, the CDK4, that is the kinase subunit of the cyclin D1, and the actin, that is also used to as a loading control. This is a short series of tumors. We confirm the results in a in a more number of tumors, mostly of the high grade, and indeed the same thing happened. Also, with this technique of the Western blood, we can analyze the phosphorylation of retinoblastoma. We can see in this close-up that as phosphorylated retinoblastoma migrates as a band of, of higher molecular weight than retinoblastoma phosphorylated, we have some controls here. These are TTC cells that are resting and TTC cells that are dividing. We see the, the phosphorylated band and we just see that these tumors have a high phosphorylation of retinoblastoma. And in fact, as I said before, we saw that the retinoblastoma of retinoblastoma could be somehow related to the expression of cyclone E. When, in fact, when we plot the expression of, of cyclin E in these tumors versus the phosphorylation of the retinoblastoma measured by the band sheet, we see that the more phosphorylation correlates with more expression of retinoblastoma. But also we have seen that some tumors they don't have retinoblastoma. And of course in these tumors the expression of cyclin E is the highest. We know that cyclin E by itself does nothing so we check and I only show few ones and all tumors that have cyclin A also have CDK1 expressing there. And now when we add another parameter to the equation and in this case is the presence of mutation in the FGFR3 gene and we sort the tumor by FGFR3 low grade, high grade or mutated or non mutated low grade and high grade. We observe and we put here the expression of RB. Now the aberrant and absent RB tumors are all segregated to the non-mutated high-grade group. Also this group is the group that has the most aberrant expression of P53 and phosphorylated P53 in serine 15 that senses for genomic damage. Other proteins, ah, sorry, this is, and in fact the these tumors had three had mutations in the uh, genomic uh, genomic level of the of P53, and also they were in they they were of this group, the high grade non mutated tumors. Other, other proteins, for example, the receptor. We see that we saw that all mutated receptor express the the receptor, but. It is not but the case for cyclin E, then we see that cyclin E is more expressed high grade than in low grade, irrespectively of the mutation and irrespectively of the phosphorylation of retinoblastoma, meaning that probably cyclin E is doing something else in the tumors than controlling the cell cycle. Okay, now this is the last slide, and I just want to show that what I said was just kind of oversimplification. And this is more real. We have these proteins analyzed. Also, we have 15 more proteins analyzed of each tumor. We have two series. And what we would like to do now is to extend the number of tumors within each group to be analyzed in the same way. Right now, we have 250 tumors already prepared to be analyzed as soon as we get some funding to do this, this project. And I would like to thank patients and collaborate in the study, the, the, uh, the urology department, Manuel Prado, Jose Vila, and Elas Caso, Jose Segarra, that is the head of the department, and from anatom uh, pathology, Marilia Saduya, from Jose Silven, that is the head, Eva Maria Fernandez, that is a technician who helped us with the immunostochemistry, and Rosso Mores from the lab is a technician and worked two years paid by the fees, but now it's working by the Bron Hospital because it was only paid for two years. Javier Ugarte, that is a predoctoral student, and Claudia Salat, that is a last year student that helped us occasionally. Thank you.